So it's hard to be a Sixers fan on social media and not see the, what former Sixers are saying, um, especially when you talk about Seth Curry and Ben Simmons, two guys who've been, you know, uh, big big stories in, in our team for the last few years. But um, uh, so Seth Curry uh, said uh, this past week about Ben Simmons um, that he does not need a jump shot. The quote, exact quote was, he just got to do what he does best, which is defend, rebound, push the ball, and make plays for other people and attack the rim. So he said he does not need a jump shot to be successful in the league. Uh, do you two agree with uh, Seth on on that, on the latest Ben Simmons uh, story? Ben Simmons was an all-star without a jump shot. He was the first round pick. He was number one pick without a jump shot. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Missing jump shots and missing threes make you drive to the basket. Missing free throws make you not want the ball. Ben Simmons has got to be all about making free throws. If Ben Simmons shot 75 plus 80% from the free throw line, we wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't yeah. be here. No, we wouldn't. Because he'll find it, because he'd still be able to score. He could still be effective. He could post a little smaller guys up. He could do different things. Mm-hmm. So I agree with Seth um, from that standpoint. But I do think that his, his, Lack of confidence at the free throw line affects his whole game. And until until that's addressed, it's going to continue to do it. I've been there, so I know for a fact. I'm not speaking on opinion on this. I'm speaking on fact on this part. Mm-hmm. Did, did you agree with uh, Seth uh, right there? I, you, you know me. I've always said about Ben, I always thought the three-point stuff was nonsense. I, I don't think he ever needed a three-point shot. I don't think he ever needed to play, try it. I don't think he ever needed that. I, I always said, give me like a five to 10 foot little like running, like a five, a little running five hook, a five foot hook shot. And give me like 70, 70, 70 to 73% from the free throw line. If he get, if he, if he even just gave you 70 to 75, he would have been averaging like 18 a game. Easy, easy. I mean, it, it's, I see what Seth's saying and, and, yeah, I think what he's saying is factual with that team it is. Like, yeah, you can just push and rebound and defend when you have Durant, Seth, Kyrie, yeah. TJ Warren, uh, uh, Harris coming back from injury. Yeah, those are all guys that can put the, bu- the ball in the bucket. I yeah, mean, I, I, I get – I think he can – for that team, it's probably not needed as much. He can be their dream on. I think the, sure. the, one, the one thing about being – as far as and this is the one thing I may slightly disagree with Seth on, is the fact that Ben has never really been a willing shooter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, is it, he's never been a guy that took the shots to miss. Um, you know, so so that part of it is that's where it's different because you can have a guy that misses shots, but he takes them. So he he doesn't even take them or put himself in position to take them. Mm -hmm. So the willingness to, to take shots kind of tells me he was aware of his situation and and, kind of tells me he was aware of his situation and mentally it was there for him to avoid it. Um, The playoffs, like anything else, it shows up. And when it showed up, um, it just, Snowball that Mr. Free throws just snowballed, and then when they, you know, the the old hack shack when they start doing that, and that affected them. I think that it affected him not making something new, that but bringing something that was already there and and made it and escalated it. Mm-hmm. So I stand by it's the free throws that he needs to correct, and then be a willing shooter, maybe not a three point shooter. But a willing guy, if teams are playing off of you and it's a big at the rim that you're willing to go in and take a short pull up. Mm-hmm. Um, just the, the willingness to do it. Yeah. It was almost layup or nothing. Which in his first summer league game, like he, he, he was tearing up from the, the, the mid range. That was probably his best game as a pro, <clears throat> was his uh, summer league game, his first ever one against the Lakers, which was a, was a fun game to watch. So, was- so then, then you, it's been confirmed you know, that it's, Probably more above his shoulders. Yeah, and just lacking confidence. Yeah, it's funny if you look at his first playoff year. He he had sixteen, nine, and eight, and he shot twelve and a half times a game, and he averaged seventy, almost seventy one percent from free throws that year. Mm-hmm. Like that's, I mean, twelve shots a game averaging that. I mean, it's 
Then he went down to 13, then 11. And, and like his, his field goal percentage stayed the same, but his free throws went from 57 to 34. So it's like, man, like that's because, because the first year people weren't, weren't really the magnifying making, glass on yes, it. Yet. Yeah. Well, they weren't really doing that. And then when they started doing that, um, and then the last year when Atlanta, you know, and I don't even think Atlanta did it. Was it who did we play first? Day? Was it the Wizards? The Wizards, Wizards started doing it. The yeah. Wizards did it. Yeah. And they were like, they don't even have a chance to win, but they like, man, mm-hmm. let's go. So they kind of like, you know, Atlanta was like, oh, okay, thank you, Wizards. Yeah. Yeah. And you go down and you lose, and then you have those big leagues, and then you lose the games. You know what I'm saying? And then the, how you lose it, and then so, and then you have the one play like that everybody replays where he has the layup or dunk and he passes it um, to Thibault, who, who missed, who I believe missed a free throw, missed one of those free throws. He did. Yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> I think from that point on, it was just like, it's tough. Yeah. Um, yeah. He didn't want tough to, to, tough he to be in that situation. Anymore. And, um, tough city to be in in that situation yeah yeah and yeah it's crazy it's crazy because that game five for um in washington that mb did not play in he killed it man he see he a triple double he slaughtered them that game it was like all right you're you're back on track again you're all right and atlanta kind of were just reverted back again yeah it's it's, it's i mean we, we we know the story now it's all unfortunate but um yeah, again, I, I totally agree with you. For free throws, man. Yeah, go back to that Atlanta year. Give them 75%. That's no championship right there. That's four championships we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cool. know about that, but we we probably would have beat the Hawks, but you know, I don't know yeah. from that yeah. point on. Yeah. yeah, I doubt Milwaukee, but yeah, who knows. Yeah.